I never wanted to be introverted. I'm not antisocial and I never disliked people. I just disliked you. In case you lived in a time period where life completely sucked and you don't like change, extroverts are people who get their energy from being in social spaces with other people. They are oftentimes mistaken as outgoing and courageous, dare I say, the ones who take initiative. Some extroverts are outgoing and courageous, and some aren't. Introverts, on the other hand, can become depleted from social settings, and they are known for behaviors that may seem antisocial towards people. Sidebar, I did a bit of digging, okay? As a 23-year-old, it's pretty natural to want to learn why certain moves and pressures hit us when we socialize with other people. I looked into depressive behaviors, antisocial thinking, social societal pressures, everything under the sun. They all came with symptoms, causes, treatments, and preventions. I fell down a rabbit hole. I tried a few home remedies and it did not work. The exhaustion feeling didn't go away. Now I'm definitely an introvert and I experienced this heavily, whether it be distant relatives, close friends, and even with potential partners. A couple of months ago, I went out with a few good friends to LA. We ate sushi, went to Santa Monica Beach, got boba, all the fun stuff. But our conversations were just awkward, unserious, all the time. I do value meaningful conversations. Otherwise, the actual trip experience is equivalent to being on a Discord call planning about it. And even though we had fun, I felt exhausted and drained the entire time. I ended up going home earlier that day. It was even more exhausting when trying to date. I went on a few dates with very interesting people. The people I met were very well spoken and had interesting topics. I didn't really realize how introverted I was until I had a few dates with this one person who kept insisting I talk more about myself. I didn't understand what more they wanted to know. I like pocket pets, Asian buffets, worked in retail, do animations, and a college student. What more could a 20 year old have any experience in? I still talk to this person, but because of the lack of discussion from my end, I didn't try to develop anything further. For a long time, I believed my exhaustion and unwillingness to socialize was due to my beliefs and how I was raised. It's partially to blame, since certain beliefs and cultures are meant to keep people segregated. There's no culture that hasn't done that. But I felt distant from people even before my beliefs in my earlier stages of childhood. When I was nine, I didn't attempt to socialize or make many friends. I also didn't feel like talking to my peers either. I was happy back then since I got to do fun things, but I felt alone. I wanted to do things alone, but I did not want to be alone, but I was. And when the opportunities presented themselves to me where I could have initiated friendships, I chose to stay alone. I also didn't regret the decisions because I kept repeating them. Once you become an adult, you can't really blame your current behavior on how you were raised because it's your choice to want to change and be more outgoing, right? There was a time where I forced myself to talk and be more outgoing, but for some reason, I could tell that it wasn't right. I became so depleted, keeping up that talkative energy with my friends. I eventually lost contact with those friends. Honestly, despite the cons of being unrelatable, being stereotyped as unemotional, and the perceived notion of hating people, there are pros to being an introvert. You don't necessarily have to worry about huge social groups, drama, and unwillingly becoming someone else's therapist. You can continue your own path without any doubt because there's not that many people around you to influence your behavior. Basically, as an introvert, you get to save your energy and keep your peace. But I want to keep my peace and be social with others. I don't want to feel depleted. But I do. Why don't you just get introverted friends who are like you, freak? You can't change being an introvert. Honestly, so many people idolize being an introvert, mostly online. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad I protect my energy of peace and move in silence. Only introverts can relate. Oh, uh well. -huh. Maybe I'm just around the wrong types of people. One thing I know for sure is that I do not get along with real introverts. No one wants to take initiative. No one wants to keep talking or plan anything to grow the friendships. The friendships always die off because neither side has anything to truly discuss. And yeah, you may say you need to have something in common with other introverts. But what happens when you no longer have anything to say about a certain political party or religion or other people or art? Would you still be friends? I actually got along better with people who are extroverted. They always knew what to talk about and they had way more experience in starting conversations. I've always had positive things to say when I'm with outgoing, friendly people. Of course, I'm still introverted, so joining those types of people in social environments is still daunting. But I like hearing about other people's stories and ideas. It inspires me to want to make friends, to grow and to take initiative, to make memories, even if a few are sad or painful. Because I'm not an AI bot. I'm human. Human life is short. 
I wish I had been born to naturally be outgoing. I don't want to be an introvert anymore. But if it's possible to grow and hold on to human connections like an extrovert, then maybe that's okay. <laughs>